Hi, my name is Emily. You can find me at the Buckeye Library and today we are going to be making Easter egg bath bombs. So these would look really cute in an Easter basket if you make those or do those um, or as a really great use for the leftover eggs afterward after the hunt and all the fun is over. These work as a really good mold for the bath bombs. So I'm gonna walk you through how to make them with these ingredients right here. And then hopefully they'll turn out something like this when we're done. So somewhat the shape of an egg. And even if they don't, that's okay. They still work. And you don't even have to, if you wanna skip the egg part, you can just even do something as simple as form them into a ball and it'll still work just the same. Um, so hopefully this is something that you'd like to replicate at home. It's fairly easy. Um, I have everything measured out ahead of time, so it should be, should go smoothly. Um, but what you'll need is baking soda, cornstarch, citric acid, Epsom salt, coconut oil, and we're going to get this um, in a low liquid form. So you just a quick little microwave should get it into liquid form. Um, I have a spray bottle for wa of, of water. Um, I picked an essential oil. So my little samples I made were lavender. So I decided to use orange. So together we're going to be making orange scented bath bombs. And finally, these little leftover eggs. So if you want to skip this part and just mold it into a ball, that's fine. It'll work just the same. Um, if you want to use them for a basket or for a more springtime Easter theme, you can use the leftover eggs. And hopefully it'll turn out pretty well when we're done. Something like this. So you can see they work pretty well. They work like the stuff you get from the store, only definitely less expensive. Um, and it'll make it smell really great. So you can't smell this, but this is lavender and it does smell really good. So, and it's working just the way they should. So no Pinterest fail here. All right, stay tuned and we'll get started. So to get started with our orange scented bath bombs, we are going to add all of our dry ingredients to the mixing bowl. So, like I said, I have everything measured out, so I already do save on time and make it more efficient. So we'll add one cup of baking soda to the bowl, a half cup of citric acid, One half cup of cornstarch, one half cup of Epsom salt, and I'll mix it. Now, if you're wondering about the gloves, they're not required, um, but just because of the baking soda and Epsom salt, it can be a little harsh on your hands, especially if they're dry and cracked. Because of the long winter we just experienced and all of the lovely hand washing and sanitizing. So I just decided to use some gloves, but it's safe if you decide not to. So these are all just safe ingredients for your skin. Um, so I'm just mixing these dry ingredients together in the bowl. So as you'll notice, there's no, there's no color. It's all just white. We'll add some food coloring later, which is optional. All right, so, it's all dusty from the cornstarch. Okay, so I've got my coconut oil. It's the three tablespoons, and like I mentioned earlier, I did melt it, so it's in a liquid form. So that's gonna be really important. You're gonna want it in a liquid form. So I'm going to mix the coconut oil with the dry ingredients. I'll do probably like a tablespoon at a time. 
and you'll notice it'll start to get a little lumpy. All right. All right, so next up is the fun part, the essential oil and the food coloring. So this is the part where it's gonna smell really, really great. So about two to three drops of essential oil should be fine. You'll get the scent that you want. You could always add more too. So like I said, this is the orange scented, um, but you can use whatever scent that you like the best. This, um, it's like a really clean, fresh, energizing scent. Um, but of course, you know, lavender is very relaxing. So. You might want that instead. Both work pretty well. I even did a mint one, a peppermint, and that one was really great too. So I've got the essential oil in here. I just used the leftover, one of the leftover cups. I'm gonna add, um, let's see, four to five drops of food coloring. One, oh, that's the gel one. That's a tricky one. <laughs> the gel food coloring. All right. So we'll mix that up and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all just going in the bowl. It just helps it, um, helps the color mix a little better if you mix them together before. But if you forget this step, it, it won't be a big deal at all. All right, so I'm gonna add the food coloring to the dry ingredients in coconut oil. Now I'll mix with my hands again. So you'll see the food coloring is starting to disperse throughout the mix and then also it smells amazing, which is really great. All right, so we really only have, before we put um, the ingredients in the eggs, we only really have one step left and we just have to get it a little bit wetter because it's not quite wet enough to form a mold. So, in order to do that, I have a spray bottle of water. Um, it works in the spray bottle best because if you pour in the water um, too fast or you pour in too much, you'll activate all of the baking soda at once and it'll all just kind of fizzle um, and it'll fall apart and you won't be able to get it inside those eggs. So, we're gonna spray, mix, spray, mix. And this part um, is probably gonna take the longest. So I'll do a little fast forward so you don't have to watch me do it all. So I'm just spraying and then I'll mix. It'll foam and bubble a little, but nothing like if you were to just dump it in at once. So I don't have a measurement for this part. Um, you're just gonna go by look and feel. So you're gonna want it to be kind of the consistency of wet sand. So think when you're at the beach and you're making some sort of sand castle or sand structure and you want it not too wet, but just wet enough to where it'll hold its shape. So I'm gonna keep on mixing and I'll come back to you when I think I've got it in the perfect form. All right, so I think I'm done mixing. I think I've got a pretty good consistency. If you look, it is kind of like the wet sand where if I form it, it'll hold its shape, um, but not too wet. So what you'll do is if you're skipping the, the egg part, then all you have to do is just form it into balls, like whatever, however big you'd like them. So it could be as simple as that and then you'll set it out to dry for at least 24 hours so it'll dry and then it'll be ready for use as soon as it's dried you are good to go um, if you want to get a little bit more festive and with it and spring themed you'll fill it with an egg press it in there
and then you, won't, you probably won't want to close it all the way because I found when I did that it, they were hard to open so get them so they're they're almost closed that way you'll be able to open it um, and then they'll the top will stick to the bottom so it'll remain in that egg form and that is it so you'll just let leave this to dry for at least 24 hours and then you should be able to open it and it'll look just like these from before only it'll be a different color and scent and here's just a sneak peek at the water from before so it definitely um, it definitely worked it's all gone it has dissolved it smells lovely like lavender um, and it even gave the water a purple color as well so I definitely definitely recommend making these it works pretty well and it makes a great gift or a great treat for yourself so that is it um thank you for joining me while we made bath bombs and hopefully you can try it at home and hopefully they turn out as good as this one did all right happy spring everyone